They are cutting broom again in Yellow Point. A yearly ritual by one invasive species upon another. It's a war against a plant at least, not on each, and one they cannot win hereafter. Brilliant yellow flowers, beloved of bees, scatter like snow upon the trail. And like dandelions, I wonder why my peers have such genetic dislike of yellow. While dressed in polite and feminine pink, do may trees and coruscations of tender dogwoods, virgin whites, prosper along every ladysmith's military street. I've heard it said, a homesick Scot, first brought by schooner round the Cape, the sea, and Douglas from Hawaii it was, others say, who did the deed. But it's no worse, is it, than the guy who tried to habituate every English bird in Shakespeare's plays upon Vancouver Island's unsuspecting indigenous woods and bays? But what's history to those two men who labor incessant as they hack their way into the latest version of the colonial present? But my money is still on the broom of new species after you and me harvest to eradicate. She rises on bare rock and along every hydro line and road allowance where we slaughter it, all things that once grew to sun inconvenient. Her plunging roots defy human arms that swear and pull, as if she'd anticipated all of this when here began, and with her flowers multitudinous weight, once the earth was kissed after heavy April rain. So I'll bet in August, I'll hear the black pods a crack again, like rifling shots, an infinity of pregnant seeds of yellow broom to spread a mane.